Of the Messiah, I was shot out. We're gonna look at Matthew the sixth chapter, the first verse. It says, "Take heed." I mean, you better pay attention that you do not your alms before men, that you do not do what you do in helping people before people, right? You know, this is listen what it says: to be seen of them, so you can be seen, you can be noticed, you can be exalted, or want to be exalted for what you do. It says, "Otherwise, ye have no reward of your Father which is in heaven." He said, "Otherwise, you don't have." No reward from the Heavenly Father, but you have your reward through the people that you're talking to. Oh, that was great. That's great you did that, man. That's great you did that, uh, sister. Next you know, you've been exalted. Where's the Most High that gave you the increase? Where, how's he been exalted? Where's the Mashiach Yahushai being exalted? Not at all. Oh, you just use their names in vain, whereas you, you want the, the exaltation to come to you. But when nobody say anything about what you did, they say, oh, praise the Most High, praise the Mashiach Yahushai. Now you got an attitude. Because they ain't looked upon you because you did this. Take heed that you do not your arms before men. You just do your arms before people. So you can talk about what you've done. It says to be seen of them. Otherwise ye have no reward of your father which is in heaven. It said therefore when thou doest thine arms, when you help a people, do not sound a trumpet. Don't be running around telling everybody what you've done before thee. Because whenever you sound a trumpet, you can hear, I can hear myself speaking. You're going to hear yourself speaking. Bragging about what you've done this. I've done this and I've done that for this person. Oh, I went out today and I did this. Who cares? Let the most high. No. Keep it a secret. It's going to tell you. It says, therefore, when thou doest thine arms, do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets. That's, that, what is he calling you? He calling you a hypocrite. If you got to talk about everything that you do that's good. And giving to the poor and helping someone. It says that they may have glory of men, that men may glorify them instead of the Most High in Christ. It says, Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. So they have their reward with what? With being exalted by a man, being exalted by a woman. That's the reward they're going to have. Listen, it says, But when thou doest alms, this is the commandment, but when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth. Don't let the left hand know what the right hand is doing. Meaning, keep quiet. Don't say anything. Listen. That thy arms may be in secret. Listen. That they arms, thy arms might be in secret. That means nobody know about it. But the Heavenly Father and the angels in Hamashiach Yahushai. It says that thy arms may be in secret. And thy father... Abba now, our Heavenly Father, which seeth in secret himself, shall reward thee openly. When you don't say anything, he's next to you know you're being rewarded openly. You can say, oh, praise the Most High, praise the Mashiach Yahushai, because the things that you have done, you're going to be blessed for the things that you've done. He's going to bless you in secret. You're supposed to do your arms. And then he's going to bless you, and everybody can see the blessing that the Most High is going to give you. But if you talking all the time about, I did this, and I did this, and I do this, and I do this, and I do that, and I, all these stories that you tell and that's boasting about yourself, and people exalting you, oh yeah, everybody got up and clapped for me, because I did this and I did that, you have your reward. Whereas if you keep quiet and follow what he said, he rewards you openly. Everybody can say, woo, wow, look at the blessing that the Most High has blessed her with, or blessed him with. He let everybody see the blessing. But if you don't, then... You're just following on your own, leaning on your own understanding. And it's not going to profit you anything. Uh, Romans 15 and Romans the 15th chapter. And we're going to look at the um, 27th verse. Romans 15 and 27. And it says, It hath pleased them verily. And their debtors they are. For if the Gentiles have been made partakers of their spiritual things, their duty is also to minister unto them in carnal things. So it's letting you know. A lot of you out there, you have benefited from the ministry of all these years of this show, Shield of Wisdom, coming on the air. Some of you have never called. Some of you have called. Now, I, I, I thank you and I appreciate all the alms and the... Um, the gifts of blessings that you have sent forth to myself and to the church to help to build this truth and continue this truth to go forth and to help our people. But some of you have not. 
That's why it tells you here, it says, if it has pleased them verily, and their debtors they are. For if the Gentiles have been made partakers of their spiritual things, their duty, it's their duty, is also to minister unto them in carnal things. It means you're supposed to be sending in your tithes and your offerings. To bless this ministry to continue to go forward. Because you have been able to be, been able to receive the, and partake in the spiritual blessings of understanding this word, but then still you think it's free. It's not free. This is not free, people. It's not free for you. You're gonna pay one way or the other. You know, you can you can take it lightly if you want to. You're gonna pay one way or the other. And a lot of a lot of our people, they they think they are. Uh, they're going to just get this and you get to sit there and you watch a lot of things in your, in your life. You have problems, whether it's mental or whether it's physical or whether it's you just, like he said, he's going he gonna to put your money in the bag and put holes in the bottom of it. So it's just all the time flowing away where well, you're all the time struggling. But if you put your, your time and effort and do what it says here, it tells you in uh, Proverbs 23 and 23, it says, buy the truth. It says, buy the truth. So that means it's not free. Any way you want to look at it, you can take it any way you want to. It says, buy the truth and sell it not. That's why I'm not putting a price on it. That's why I come on the air, it's free. And whatever I do, it's all for free. You know, anybody want to donate something, it's all right. But it, I'm giving it for free because it says I cannot sell it. I'm not selling anything here. It, but it tells you, you're supposed to buy the truth, as I have. And I do. And I put my funds into what it is I believe in. I believe in what it is that is in this word and I'm going forth to gather the truth is together and to gather all nations together because I says the Gentiles are receiving other spiritual uh, gifts that they're receiving for understanding this word. That's why we, it's no marvel that we should get the carnal things, your carnal things because you are receiving spiritual awareness of righteousness of the Most High through this word. It says here, it says, by the truth and sell it not. Also, wisdom. So it's saying by wisdom and instruction, by instruction and understanding. By understanding. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Or wisdom, instruction, and understanding. Are you doing that? No. You think it's free. So therefore, you have something that you can look forward to. And this is serious. I look at this now. I was like, wow, I dropped this in another, another lesson. But I just want to give you analysis while I have the time left. It says, but a certain man named Ananias and Sapphira, Acts the fifth chapter, verse one, his wife sold a possession and kept back part of the price. His wife also being private to it and brought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. When everybody had sold lands and, and, and laid, it, laid all the money at the apostles' feet, they didn't. They held back part of it. It says, but Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled thine heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and to keep back part of the price of the land? Whilst it remained, was it not thine own? And after it was sold, was it not in thine own power? Why hast thou conceived this thing in thine heart? Thou hast not lied unto men, but unto God. And Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and gave up the ghost. He gave up the ghost. He fell down dead. A great fear on all them that heard these things. Excuse me. A great fear came on all them that heard these things. And the young men arose, wound them up, and carried them out and buried him. He died right there because he lied. He didn't give, he didn't give what he's supposed to give. And the young men arose, wound them up, and carried them out and buried him. And it was about the space of three hours after, three hours later, when his wife not knowing what was done, came in. His wife came in three hours later. And Peter answered unto her, Tell me whether ye sold the land for so much. And she said, Yeah, for so much. Right? This lie that they came to get in and got together on and said, This is what we're going to tell the apostles when we read them. We only sold the land for so much. Same lies what her, father, her husband had said. Here she is bringing forth the same lie in front of Peter. And Peter answered unto her, Tell me whether you sold the land for so much. And she said, yeah, for so much. Same thing her husband had said, right? Then Peter said unto her, how is it that ye have agreed 